Hello guys, today we have a quick code review based on admins and managers, controllers and views and how to structure it. But before we move on, I need to apologize for my voice. I have some sore throat and no matter how much tea or hot beverages or water I drink, it just doesn't come normal. But I did have a lot of videos planned, so I will shoot them. So for upcoming few videos on this YouTube channel, you need to bear with my voice like this. I do feel well, I don't feel sick, it's just my voice, so I hope it's okay with you. Now the topic, this is the email and the problem is controllers for admins and managers and views for them and what is a better way to structure it. Of course, there's not one single way, but I will comment based on the code snippets I received. So this is the situation, simplified with kind of fake data, but accurately describes the situation. So product controller for admins with a namespace of admin, get products, then there's a variable to extend layouts of admin in each of the controller method here, and then there's a route to redirect to admin. So everything is prefixed with admin. Then there's a similar product controller for manager. In fact, similar to the level, it's almost identical. So just compare those. This text with this text almost doesn't change. So the only differences are manager here, namespace, layouts, and probably in the real code, it's a bit more complicated where manager auth ID, so a bit more differences. Now the problem is as the author described in the view files. So he separated the controllers, but he didn't separate intentionally the views. So index blade, create blade, and edit blade have if statements in blade. So if admin show this and that, in the edit blade, similarly, if admin show manager ID to choose from, and in the index blade, if admin then show manager ID. And again, I'm pretty sure in real code, there are more if statements, it's just a simplified version of it. And also there's a route helper. Instead of redirecting to route admin products and route manager products, there are functions, global helpers, products index route. So for example, there's product store route, and this helper is used in the create blade form like this. So how would I tackle a similar situation? Again, it depends on how different the real code is, but based on this example, to me, that should be one controller and not different controllers with namespaces. It should be one product controller and then if statements of getting all the data or other things like layouts, for example, should be somewhere in the controller. In fact, layout should be a separate thing. We will get to that. So what I would do is have one controller and this condition of where manager ID could be actually moved to global scope of eloquent. So if the user is not admin, then in global scope, all the queries related to products are conditioned on where manager ID, something like that. And then you would have one controller, which would load separate views. So somewhere in the controller constructor, for example, I would specify that extends whether it's manager or admin. And then that return view could be a variable, for example, user, then products index. And that user would be, for example, user, for example, auth user, I'm not sure about the structure role equals, or actually user role, because it could be admin or manager as a string, I'm not sure, something like this. So basically in the constructor of the controller, actually let's build it, I'm here in Sublime, so I don't have any PHP storm things, but public function construct, and then you have this user equals something like this. Again, it's a simplified example. And let's have public string. It's not exactly user, it's user type. User type like this. Then we have user type here. And then this user type in all those methods. It will allow you to create one controller but the problem, as author says, it's in the if statements of the blade files of the views. And that's why I would recommend to have separate views. Because more often than not, the presentation of the data is different for admins, managers, and other roles. So if you feel that you have more than one or more than two if statements based on role, it's a candidate to have totally separate views. Then you would have more flexibility on how things look for different users. And you can also have includes for repeating parts like partials, but you will not have this extends. Instead, you would have layouts admin separately and layouts manager separately. Again, this is only one way of doing that. And it depends on how different are the views and how different is the logic in the controller. But to me, if you are forced to create route helpers, it's kind of a red flag to me. Not exactly the red flag, but 
pretty far from standard thing that I've seen in Laravel. So imagine a new developer joining the team, they have create blade and see this and then wonder what is that product store route. Perhaps it would be clickable and then they could navigate to that exact method. But still one of the goals of solid code in the team for maintainable code is to minimize so-called WTF moments for other developers in the future. So in my opinion, again, it's one opinion that route helper should be eliminated in favor of separate views, but probably consolidating the data into one controller with if statements and global scopes. Because to me, in this example, those two controllers seem too much similar. What do you think? Maybe you had similar situations in your projects. Share your opinion in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.